Hi, Nick Collier here, and this is my shop. Come join me. We'll have some well, fun. Nick Collier here again, uh, and uh, you know, the guy that I made the copper frame for, uh, he liked that copper frame so much, he said, hey, make me four gates for my house. And I'm like, oh, okay, fine. Uh, I don't really like making gates because, you know, there's hardly any machine work to it. In fact, in this case, there was no machine work. Uh, it was just basically welding and measuring. And uh, it's not my favorite thing to do. But he was going to pay me so much money that it made it worth it. So I went, okay, what the fuck? I'll do it. And uh, so that was about a week and a half ago. We got these gates all done. And you can kind of see them there. And, uh, and uh, you know, I haven't touched the positioner in a week and a half or so. And I'm ready to jump back into it. I'm ready to go over there and have some fun. Hey, follow along. We're going to have some fun today. All right, well, so we've got the, the ground clamps uh, set up, but not fully engaged. And uh, I earlier you saw that I grabbed it. I want to be able to grab this bolt with the, with the, the uh, ground. And what happens is it grabs just fine, but then it drops down and bottoms out on the frame there. And I don't want it to go through the frame and through the, um, the bearings. So we're going to have to put some kind of little protector right here so that when I grab it and it drops down, it drops down on something that's not, uh, not metallic. So I think we're going to go over to the mill and we're going to um, make a little, uh, and I have some, uh, what is this, Delrin. I have some Delrin uh, and I think we're just going to make a little, just a little protector here just to kind of protect that edge. So let's go over to the mill. All right, well, since I cut this little chunk out with the bandsaw, it's like totally out of square. And you know, just, I wanna square it up, just make it look pretty. And we know it's spring because we got cackleberries coming up. Those chickens are just laying like a champ. Okay, turn it on. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see what kind of trouble we can cause. A little piece of shit craftsman saw. It works very well. I'm happy with it. Uh, it doesn't cut metal very well, but it cuts everything else. <laughs> Just way too easy. All right, let's um, let's trim this down. I think we need to get something to kind of keep our keep it up a little bit. That should do the trick. Okay. Yeah, I think that'll be just fine.
that should be just fine. Now I think what we have to do is either slice this and make room for our uh, our our uh, <clears throat> our insulator or cut the insulator. So well, let's go over there. I'm going to go over there and have a look and I'll do that off camera and I'll be right All back. Right. So um, we're going to uh, put a notch in this because the uh, the insulator is a bitch to get out. So hey, let's take the easy route. I'm always in for that. So we're going to just pierce this. We got ourselves a little uh, pierce there, a little bit of file work, and we're all set to go. All right, let's see how it goes here. So this is going to go on there, slides on there just like it's supposed to. Let's put this back. Put this back. Put our clamp in, fits perfect. Okay, so that's, that's that for that, uh, except for getting it to lock into place. And I think all I'll do is just put a couple of screws in here, pew, and uh, maybe even just one. Hell, it's we're not holding anything. Um, we'll put one screw in there. Be right back. All right, we'll, uh, we've got uh, a screw and... Uh, a number 29 drill bit, 832 screw, 29 drill bit. We're going to start, and, and I found my center. So we're going to start just by drilling the center, wherever that is. I got to get some light on the thing, on the subject. Right in there. That looks pretty good. All right, let's slide this over. hit the screw <laughs> of course of course well that's not too much of a problem we'll uh, just shorten up our screw and get it in there get ourselves a little tapping fluid there we go run it in Not too bad. And our screw wants to be just slightly longer than this. Now we're going to have to oversize this hole. Pretty easy. All right, 
right, the screw wants to be, oh, right about there, I would say. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. So we're going to cut the screw off right there. And that should give us enough room. All right, be right back. All right, that goes there. Come on. This goes here. There it goes. Nice and snug. That goes there. Here's our nut. Nice. All right, that part's done. Oh, let's see. Maybe we can tighten it up a little bit. All right, so the next step is putting, oh, you can't see it, can you? All right, let's back you up a little bit. Bring it over. Is putting a spring on this and bringing it over to something. And if, again, this has to be insulated too from the frame. So, and that shouldn't be any problem. We'll get uh, maybe the scrap of this and just cut a little cube and have that sitting here and it'll be no big issue. So uh, let's go cut that cube and uh, we'll be right back. All right, well, I found the perfect uh, clevis to hold this spring that's going to uh, hold us together here. Uh, but uh, it's a more like a 12 whatever that thread is and I only have a 1024 die 1024 yes so I need to bring this down the shaft down to uh, 120 something and I'm now at 180 something what, what is the size <clears throat> 149 so we're at 180, so I still need to come down a little further. No problem. As long as it holds up in the lathe. I mean, it's just barely hanging there. So I'm just taking, you know, probably five at a time. See what we got. So we took uh, almost ten off of there. This might be our final cut. I took eight thousandths, at least as far as the dial is concerned. Let's just see what it looks like. and we need to go to 50 or actually 65 so let's take it down this way ah <laughs> I knew it was going to happen question was is when 
and bent the shit out of it. It's coming out. So that's that for that. That was a nice clevis, though, wasn't it? All right, well, um, we may be able to fake it somehow. <laughs> you know, my middle name. Uh, it's pretty well bent, though. Let's give it a try. All right, well, we bent it back. Now we're going to put it in the opposite direction, the threads first, so it's got a little bit more to grip to. Let's see how. It's pretty straight. I still got 15 thousandths to take off of that, so I think we're going to be in pretty good shape. Let's go in with a, another, another bit, though. How about this one? Yeah, that's going to give us more. So now we're going to just be real careful. Come all the way back in here as far as we can get. And just cut just a little bit at a time. All we need is about a quarter inch of thread. And I think we actually might have it right here. at 60 we need to go to 50 so 10 more we're going to take it a little bit at a time just doing it by hand because I want to move very slow and I want to be able to feel how it's cutting so that it, I, it doesn't dig in Plus, I don't think this lead would go this slow, you know, the travel. All right, let's see what that's going to give us. 155. Yeah, 152. I'm going to just go with it just like that. That should give us plenty. Take it over to the saw, cut this off, and then uh, uh, run some threads down that and see what we got. All right, well, we've got our block in uh, and our uh, spring uh, connector. And then we brought this around, and sure enough, Oh, man, it was almost too short. In fact, it was too short. I had to cut this thing down and move things back a little bit. So we're really close. But I think I have some springs that will do it. So uh, we're going to go over and look at the spring box and see what we can come up with. All right, well, we've got two or three spring boxes here. Uh, you know, as you can see, larger springs, um, which would be a little stiff for what we want to do. But these here might just be just about right, although that feels a little stiff. And that one's that one actually feels pretty good. So we'll set that one aside just in case. Look at this here. Oh, oh, pretty stiff and stiff. Now, let's see what we got in here. That is not quite stiff enough. This actually might do it. 
It might hold a good tension on it. All right, well, uh, let's take this one first because it's open and, and I can do it. So we're going to just kind of stretch that. And that feels pretty good. I think this is the one. It's got a, a nice grip to it. It's going to keep it in the... So we're going to go from about right there and cut it off. And I'm going to have to go get a pair of cutters. All right, uh, we're going to cut it right about there. We're going to leave one extra for uh, the loop. And let's see what we got. Well, we'll have to come back to that because I hear my customer driving up the driveway. And we will be back. All right, Nick Collier here again. It's three or four days later, and uh, we're back to this. And I've been kind of chomping at the bit to get back to it because I'm I'm almost done. So uh, uh, I got a, a, an extra few hours here. I get to play around a little bit. So uh, we're going to put that spring on, and I cut the spring. I actually had to grind it because these are some tough springs, and now I can just kind of grab it. The question is, is, is it tight enough? It feels pretty snug. I'd say it's worth a try. All right, so let's get something to weld. Because, you know, you've been with me the whole time here, and uh, this is the uh, coup de grace of, uh, of the uh, process, so uh, I think it's only fair that you're a part of the, uh, the first weld. Okay, let's give it a try. Oops, wait a second, we gotta hook up the ground. And we will throw a couple of little tacks in there just to keep everything honest. Alright, ready? Let's go. I don't know, what do you think? Not too bad, huh? That's pretty exciting, actually. I could get a pretty good weld out of that. Okay, we did it. Now the reason why I'm building this whole thing and getting, putting it all together is because uh, this guy over in um, in Auburn, which is the next town over, uh, probably about 20, 30 miles away, he's got these uh, these uh, uh, huge filters that he wants to weld up and do a little bit of machining. And when those things come in, I, I want to be ready for them. So we are ready. And uh, oh, let's back you up a little bit here. The other way. So we've got a good weld 
and we can go all the way around the circle. I am so excited. Now, it's probably going to be another month before I actually put this to use because uh, his project is kind of stalling out a little bit. But it's here. It's ready to go. And whenever I need it, I just pick it up. And for the moment, I just put it underneath the bench somewhere and let it sit. Um, so, hey, this is Nick Collier. Uh, we've got another project fin we finished. We've got three or four coming down the pike here. And so stick with me. We're, we're going to have some more fun. Well, uh, let's see if you can even see me. Yeah, you can see me. Well, here we are. It's late in the afternoon. Um, I uh, just got back from town and I picked up a uh, speed control that I ordered uh, from China or Hong Kong or someplace like that here, a, oh, I don't know, a month ago or something like that. It showed up. Okay, so now we get to try it out. But uh, while we're doing that, we're going to have ourselves a La Fume du Monde, the end of the world beer. And we are in the middle of that one. So, uh, and I promise myself that whenever I have a beer or two, uh, that I don't use machinery. But, uh, you know, we're just going to hook up a speed control. So, what can be the harm? So we will do that and, uh, and follow along. We're having a good time. Okay, I cut off the cable. Uh oh, here's the place where it could be a problem. Let's uh, bring you down to the table itself. And that is no machinery, but sharp instruments. Oops. Okay, we're just going to be extremely careful. Okay, ready? You drop it down the center of this and cut away. Nobody gets hurt. Pull out our wires. And we have two I'm going to go grab a screwdriver and be right back. And since, uh, you know, this control unit um, has uh, very explicit directions in it um, that I can't have possibly understand, all I can guess is, is that CW means clockwise and CCW means counterclockwise. Okay, well that, that maybe makes sense. And COM is, of course, are uh, common. The two AC inlets and a ground. So all I can think of is I go AC, AC, motor, motor. Nope, no, nope. motor, motor. So we're going to try that. And if, of course, if we blow the damn thing up, uh, well, that's just how it goes. Well, definitely at this point, I have to have glasses. So here's our common. And of course, the screwdriver is too big for this screw. So here's a cool older screwdriver. And, uh, you know, I don't know where it came from, but uh, I've probably had it for 40 or 50 years. It came to me when I was very young. Now, it seems like it wants to have a jumper between the common and the counterclockwise. Oh, oh, I see. That's for uh, 220 volt, 240 volts. So this is 110 right here. And this is the motor.
So I'm such a pack rat that whenever some electronic device goes sour on me, I, uh, I at least grab a cord, grab the cord off of it and, uh, and uh, put it up in this rack here. And, uh, and then once in a while, I need a cord. And sure enough, here's one right here. Looks like it's got a good end and we're ready to rock and roll. All right, strip the cord back. And right now we have like more cords than we can handle, but you know, that's okay. Now there's a bunch of electronic guys out there to go, no, no, don't hook it up that way. It's the wrong way to hook up. And I'm, you know, uh, I can't hear you. Speak louder. But the unit didn't cost that much. So if I fuck it up, well, okay, I'm going <laughs> to post this and then somebody can tell me how to, how to hook it up and I'll order another one. All right, so we're going to turn it off. I think that's off. We'll plug it in, and either one, one of two things is going to happen. It's going to either blow up and smoke and turn, uh, you know, turn the plastic black, or it's going to work. So, uh, you know, it's 50-50. So far, so good. And we even have a light. Look at that. Oh, my God. We don't have a speed control, though. Common. And clockwise. Do we possibly? No. All right. Okay. Well, that was a, a consideration I hadn't considered, and that is is that it won't work. <laughs> Darn. I was sure everything was going to be just the right. So ground, AC, AC, common and clockwise. Huh. Well, I'll have to uh, contact the company and find out how to hook it up. So, oh wait, maybe this is off. Okay, let's try that. Nope. Ain't gonna work. It was such a good idea. Alright, so what we'll do just to make sure everything is hunky-dory here is let's take this off and hook it direct to our 110 leads. This one here and that one there. Yep, that works. Let's see if we can get something to happen. I'm not seeing anything happening. Oh, wait, wait. So which one says on? <laughs> I don't know. What the hell does that mean?
That definitely works. That works. All right, well, I don't know. Let's have another swig of beer, and we'll call it a day for the moment. <laughs>